marks exactly seven years since I had a stroke while anchoring the 7 p.m. news here on WAVE. I talked with WAVE news reporter Ward Jollis about my story. and He explains how important it is to know the signs of a stroke and how to respond. Expect more right now. You're watching WAVE joining us here. It was exactly seven years ago when what started off as any other newscast with Wave News anchor Don G and meteorologist Kevin Harned took a drastic turn. But on that day, I really felt bad. Like, I, I really felt bad. By 7.30, I felt so bad. Like, how am I going to do this? And it was my time to speak. And I knew I was speaking, but uh, I even knew I wasn't making sense. And then all of a sudden, the words started to slow down, and I looked over, and I was like, what? And then, boom, you were, you were down, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Dawn had a stroke live on the air. Kevin and other members of the WAVE team immediately jumped in to help. But the fact is, you know, I started calling out. I was like, call an ambulance. Within 30 minutes, Dawn was at Norton Hospital. She remembers almost none of it. So at some point, I do remember seeing my family. And I remember seeing my mom's. Some of this I'm not going to be able to do easy. Seeing the fear on my mom's face. My mom does not get shook very easy. Dawn was given the life-saving Activase, TPA, a drug effective for stroke patients, but only within a narrow window of time. One of the doctors at her side was Dr. Nadim Talpur. If she's delayed like in two, three hours, four hours, I'm just saying in case, then maybe she's not able to speak again. You often hear in the case of a stroke that time saved is brain saved. When someone has a stroke, millions of neurons die every few seconds. And for that reason, Talpur says it's important to know the symptoms of stroke and how to respond. The acronym Be Fast is a common way to remember. It stands for balance, eyesight, facial drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and most importantly, time to call 911. If somebody is you by, you know, see anybody, you know, with the stroke like symptoms, the first thing is to call 911. The timely actions of Kevin and others that day saved Dawn. She was able to speak again within hours and after a lengthy and difficult rehab process, was able to get back to work within a year. To this day, Dawn has not seen the video of her stroke, nor does she want to. My whole life changed in that few seconds. I don't know that I want to see it. After all these years, Dawn continues to do the thing she loves and to share her story with others. Why do I share it? I share it so it can be medicine for someone else. I made it. I'm making it. And so can you. Every 40 seconds, somebody has a stroke. Yeah. I learned a lot when I was going through this story. A lot of stats, that was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, actually, that I learned through this, and I wanted to talk with you about it, is you said that the folks over at Norton actually were watching TV at the time and mm -hmm. saw this and knew that they needed to respond. That's just incredible. Something I didn't know about this. Yeah, it was a blessing. Everything that happened uh, almost seemed divine to me. I can also tell you that I knew I was a little overweight, my blood pressure was too high, my cholesterol was too high, and I hadn't really done anything about it. If you know those things, then take care of it. Um, just take care of yourself. And if you know somebody is sick ward, pay attention to that and don't just be, and my WAVE team paid attention to that. And I saw myself on that video, first time I've seen it in a while, and I could see how I was struggling. Um, that shook me, too, a bit. Yeah. Well, I think I can speak for all of us here at Wave and say we're so grateful that well, you're here. Honey, and I appreciate we're you. We're happy to have you with us. Thank you. More than anything, though, take care of yourself. Please, please. Health is your first wealth.